Hello, my name is Monica Schrader, and I am here today with my colleague, Derek Williams. Derek and I are part of the Acute Care Analytics team here at NHSN. Today, we will be providing an overview of NHSN analysis for the new NHSN digital quality measures. First, I will review the objectives for today's presentation. By the end of this presentation, you will be able to understand data flow and data processing for NHSN's new digital quality measures, explain how the NHSN digital measure reporting plan is related to data analysis reports for NHSN digital quality measures, and finally, identify where facilities can view data analysis reports for NHSN digital quality measures. Before discussing more details about NHSN analysis, we will first provide a brief introduction and overview of the new NHSN digital quality measures. In alignment with CDC's Data Modernization Initiative, NHSN is developing fully automated digital quality measures, or DQMs, based on standards, measurement science, and clinical science, with rigorous benchmarking and appropriate risk adjustment used to drive patient safety. Compared to other manual and semi-automated measures, DQMs reduce time for data collection, provide patient level data for risk adjustment and stratification, remove potential biases due to different interpretations, and allow for adjustment of measures quickly in response to changes in practice. NHSN DQMs are reported via NHSN Link. NHSN Link is NHSN's open source public health application for FIRE reporting. FIRE stands for Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources and is an international standard for healthcare data exchange published by Health Level 7 International, or HL7. FIRE reporting provides a standards-based approach to accessing patient level versus aggregated data and is increasingly adopted by EHR vendors, hospitals, and government agencies. In fact, most US EHRs have FIRE capability. NHSN Link connects securely with the facility's EHR endpoint and pulls selected FIRE resources required for DQM calculation. This diagram on your screen displays an overview of new digital quality measures under development at NHSN. Several DQMs will have modules located within the patient safety component, including measures for respiratory pathogen surveillance, healthcare facility onset antibiotic treated C. difficile infection, hospital onset bacteremia and fungamia, healthcare associated VTE, and sepsis. NHSN is also developing two new glycemic control measures for medication-related hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia, which will be located in a new medication safety component. Digital Measure Reporting Plan, or DMRP, plays an important role in the collection and analysis of data for NHSN DQMs. Similar to existing monthly reporting plans, a facility will complete a DMRP as a step in the process to begin reporting data for NHSN's digital quality measures. The DMRP provides authorization for NHSN to query the facility's FHIR server to collect specified data elements per the NHSN protocol. The DMRP also signals facility commitment to adhere to DQM reporting requirements, including the use of NHSN location codes and other standardized value sets. Finally, 
The DMRP specifies the measure or measures and reporting periods for which data analysis reports will be available in the NHSN application. Next, Derek will review the data flow for NHSN digital quality measures. Thank you, Monica. This slide diagrams the data flow between NHSN and the facility's EHR environment. To begin with, we'll confirm in facility enrollment and request and receive the NHSN FHIR DQM information. This is completed through an API with NHSN link. Next, we'll request and receive patients of interest and query the EHR for the required data. Third, data are evaluated and filtered using the DQM criteria, and then data for patients meeting the DQM definitions are submitted to the CDC cloud, where lastly, NHSN ingests and analyzes these data to produce reports that are made available via the, the secure NHSN user interface. Note that this entire process is intended to be automated, where data flow from facilities EHR environments through to the CDC cloud, where reports are provided in the NHSN user interface. Our presentation focuses on the processes taking place within the CDC cloud environment as submitted data are used to create reports. Once data make their way to the CDC cloud, this is where analytics are applied to carry out event determination for NHSN DQMs. The FHIR resources listed on the left categorized roughly to contain encounter and patient data, medication data, and point of care data. Those data then have PHI and PII decoupled for patient protection where data elements required for a specific DQM are linked to identify events and determine whether a patient meets measured denominator and numerator criteria according to the NHSN surveillance protocols. The data elements are then used to produce analysis reports that are provided to facilities through the NHSN application for DQMs as indicated in their DMRP. Reports may include line-level reports, aggregate reports, or measure calculations. Using the glycemic control DQM as an example in talking through the process taking place within the CDC cloud, we would consider encounter and patient data, medication data, preferably using medication administration. However, medication requests will be used if administration is not available and blood glucose test data. Once again, PHI and PII are decoupled from the data at this point, and the data elements are linked to identify patient denominator and qualifying glycemic events during an inpatient encounter. Lastly, the linked data elements are used to generate analysis reports and provided to the facility through the NHSN application. Again, these reports may contain line listings, aggregate reports, or measure calculations. We'll continue with an example from glycemic control and we'll focus on calculations for the primary metric of that new DQM. As highlighted on the slide, the primary metric calculates the number of adult inpatient encounters where the patient was administered at least one hypoglycemic medication and suffered the harm of a severe hypoglycemic event over the number of adult inpatient encounters where at least one hypoglycemic medication was administered. This slide also shares the complementary metrics for the new glycemic controlled DQM. Next, we'll discuss event determination in more details, continuing to use this glycemic control hypoglycemia DQM as our example. Continuing with our event determination example, we use encounter and patient data from the FHIR resource to learn that the patient enters a first inpatient location in the hospital and then can see that they are moved to a second inpatient location sometime during their stay. Then we use medication data to learn about the types of medications the patient was taking and when. This allows us to see they were taking regular doses of diabetes medication during each 24 hour period throughout the encounter. Also along the way, point of care data indicate the regular checks of the patient's blood glucose levels during their stay. And finally, the patient is discharged. Looking more carefully at this data, 
there might be a potential hypoglycemic event where the patient's lab results indicated a severely low blood glucose during the encounter where the patient had been administered diabetes med medications within 24 hours. There may also be additional event determination criteria applied per the NHSN surveillance protocol, and the event will be determined to be measure eligible if those criteria are met. This slide is meant to provide a more realistic view of how this example may appear in the NHSN application as a line listing report for the primary metric of the glycemic control DQM. Here we can see the necessary information used in determining whether an event took place. Up next, Monica will pick up to discuss the NHSN DQM analysis reports. Thank you, Derek. Now that we've reviewed the data flow for NHSN's digital quality measures, we will discuss more information as it relates to data analysis reports for DQMs. NHSN analysis reports, like the example Derek provided previously, will be available in the NHSN application as new NHSN DQMs are implemented. Analysis reports will include metric calculations for a facility, as well as select supplemental reports. One example of a supplemental report may be a line level listing of events by location or a line listing of all encounters eligible for a measure. Additional analysis reports, such as user group reports, may be available according to a phased approach after an initial module release. NHSN analysis reports for DQMs will be accessible by registered NHSN users. Like other NHSN modules, access to analysis reports for NHSN DQMs will be determined by individual and group user rights. As an experienced NHSN user, you may identify new NHSN users who need access to analysis reports and assist with adding those new NHSN users. You may also be a resource for navigating the NHSN application, accessing NHSN analysis reports, and helping colleagues understand and modify DQM analysis reports. Analysis reports for NHSN digital quality measures will be available in the analysis section of the corresponding NHSN component in the NHSN application. Pictured on this slide is an example of where the analysis reports for digital quality measures will be available in the patient safety components analysis tree view. In addition to analysis reports, Dashboards are under development for visualization of event data and select metrics for DQMs. Dashboards for DQMs may include visual and interactive depiction of data available for a digital quality measure. Examples of data that may be incorporated in a dashboard include aggregated number of events or display of events or metrics over time. Once developed, dashboards will be available within the NHSN application. In summary, during this presentation, we have reviewed how data reported using NHSN DQMs will be processed and analyzed by NHSN, why a digital measure reporting plan or DMRP is important for DQM data analysis reports, and how and where facilities will be able to view data analysis reports for NHSN DQMs once available. For more information about the new NHSN digital quality measures, please consider attending the introduction to NHSN's new digital quality measures, a presentation hosted during NHSN's annual training on Monday, March 18th at 9.55 a.m. Eastern.
And finally, we'd like to thank you for your time and attention. For any questions or concerns, please contact the NHSN Help Desk using the information provided on your screen. Our team will be happy to assist with any questions you might have. Thank you so much.